all. This is Kurt with Five Hacking Tips. Thanks for joining me today. Today is kind of like a special bulletin thing. Uh, it's been a it's been a while since I've released a video, but this is a good one. Um, this is like as good as the Linux escalation pawn kit thing I did a couple weeks or a couple months ago. But anyways, this is CV two zero two two three zero one nine zero. This was reported to Microsoft, I think the beginning to the middle of April. And Microsoft, when the researcher reported it, Microsoft kind of blew it off and said, no, that's that's an, uh, a software, it's a support feature, um, and we don't see it as a vulnerability. Well, sure enough, uh, a couple of days ago, this guy, uh, Naosek on Twitter, uh, posted this exploit, um, which kind of raised my eyebrows. I follow this guy as well. And then, and, and some really good research. I encourage you to follow him as well. Anyways, and this other researcher, John Hammond, went in and and researched the exploit and what had to be done. And he created a POC, a proof of concept, um, on his GitHub right here. And that's what I'm going to introduce to you today. It's actually quite easy. It's, it's actually mind-blowing of what the possibilities are um, with this. Um, on this NALSEC uh, posting, there was a virus total link for that particular exploit. And when I checked this, as of yesterday morning at 9 a.m., it was zero. Nothing was detecting it. When I checked it this morning, just before, before doing this video, it was up to a score of about 37. But that's still, you're still getting 50% through about, or maybe a little more, I'm not sure. But um, the idea that Microsoft knew about this and it was pretty much in the wild for a while. And even now that Microsoft doesn't have a patch, maybe as of today, they might ha come out with the patch, um, but it didn't come out with the most recent patch Tuesday, uh, security patch Tuesday release. What they did do though, was they provided some um, AV updates for Microsoft Defender so that certain payloads don't work. But you're gonna see in a minute that um, the callback on this is instant. You're not using macros. So even if you just disabled macros, um, this would not, it would, that would not stop this, this exploit. Um, the other thing I want to point out is when you look at the virus total detections, don't let that be a barometer. That's, that's for that particular payload. That's not for the MSDT law itself altogether. That's something for Microsoft to fix. Um, so the best we're going to get for a while is updated antivirus signatures for particular payloads that are out there. On the other side, if you're uh, a malware developer or somebody that understands that or a red teamer and you understand, you know, DLL hooking and other things to bypass antivirus and, and be stealthy, this is the ultimate delivery kit. It doesn't get any better than this right now. Um, and not that I'm selling it at your own discretion, don't break the law and all the other things. But for a red teamer, this is, this, this is some exciting times going forward until this is patched. Um, to actually stop it, if you look at the second and the uh, last link here, um, there are Microsoft attack surface reduction guidelines, and, and this is the link. Th this actually covers um, quite a bit and you should actually be implementing a large part of these guidelines anyways because you want to reduce your internal attack surface, um, especially if you're running O365 or Microsoft 365 pro products. I also want to add that in the new Ninja C2 open source uh, uh, C2 kit, that Felina is now kitted. Full disclosure, though, I tried to use it. I couldn't get a uh, I couldn't get a payload back. I couldn't get a response back. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on trying on this because it looks like it does work from from other people talking. So let's get right down to the nitty gritty. So right here, I've downloaded um, John Hammond's. I basically cloned his his Git repository here, and I've followed the instructions and basically ran felina.py. I'm telling it to open calc exe when it when it runs the, the Word document or when the Word document's open. I'm telling it to connect back on this IP at port 8888. And then the script responds by saying, you know, it, it copied the, the staging document 
Um, and then it created the mal doc or the malware document, felina.doc. Um, and right now it's listening and it's, it's serving the HTML payload. So what I'm going to do on another computer that's on another network over here where I have that Word document, keep an eye on this because you'll notice as soon as I click on this document over here, I don't install, I don't install Microsoft products on my, my hacking, or not on all of them. Most of the systems have different. But on this particular one, I don't. Install. So when I double click, you can see instantly, there's my, you know, there's my IP address coming through and it's staging the payload and everything's there. So um, for this particular one, it didn't run calc, which means it may be getting caught by Windows Defender. And that's another thing. I have anti different antivirus on everything. I'm using the Windows Defender one uh, for this demonstration, but it still connects back. So the sky's the limit on what you want to do for a payload with these guys. Um, and, and you'll probably most likely bypass antivirus uh, a, a lot easier by, you know, running other things instead of a generic payload. That you'll see. But if you're at all creative with this, you know uh, what the damage can be done, what damage can be done by, by letting this one go. This is kind of a, a, a quick warning video. Um, it's, it's nothing I'm gonna go into super detail with about, except I just wanted to demonstrate how serious this is and how quick we need to start patching, uh, or, well, not patching, but hardening our systems. There has been a patch out for this. It's actually, it is, as Microsoft originally responded, it is a product update or a product feature, but that's for them. What they've basically done is backdoored all of our office products so that they can serve us, but that's not exactly the way to do it because eventually somebody's going to discover it. Um, up to 1,248 subscribers right now. I love it. Keep on subscribing, keep on liking, keep on commenting. Um, with your comments, I get ideas. So definitely throw the comments out there or contact me directly on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, wherever you're connected. Thank you for taking the time and take some time to address this, especially if you're running a Microsoft house. Have a good day. Take care.